Hello all welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to discuss about transfer types in AHB protocol. Here the HTRANS signal indicates the type of the transfer. If the 2-bit transfer signal is 00, zero then the transfer type is idle. A manager uses an idle transfer when it does not want to perform a data transfer. It is recommended that the manager terminates a locked transfer with an idle transfer. Subordinates must always provide a zero wait state OK response to idle transfers and the transfer must be ignored by the subordinate. 01. Busy. The busy transfer type enables managers to insert idle cycles in the middle of a burst. This transfer type indicates that the manager is continuing with a burst but the next transfer cannot take place immediately. Only undefined length bursts can have a busy transfer as the last cycle of a burst. Subordinates must always provide a zero wait state OK response to busy transfers and the transfer must be ignored by the subordinate. When a manager uses the busy transfer type, the address and control signals must reflect the next transfer in the burst. 10. Non-sequential. Indicates a single transfer or the first transfer of a burst. The address and control signals are unrelated to the previous transfer. Single transfers on the bus are treated as bursts of length 1 and therefore the transfer type is non-sequential. 1 1. Sequential. The remaining transfers in a burst are sequential and the address is related to the previous transfer. The control information is identical to the previous transfer. The address is equal to the address of the previous transfer plus the transfer size, in bytes, with the transfer size being signaled by the size signals. In the case of a wrapping burst, the address of the transfer wraps at the address boundary. In the figure we can see. In clock cycle T0 T1, the 4 beat red starts with a non-sake transfer. In clock cycle T1 T2 the manager is unable to perform the second beat and inserts a busy transfer to delay the start of the second beat. The subordinate provides the read data for the first beat. In clock cycle T2 T3 the manager is now ready to start the second beat, so a SEQ transfer is signaled. The manager ignores any data that the subordinate provides on the read data bus. In clock cycle T3 T4 the manager performs the third beat. The subordinate provides the read data for the second beat. In clock cycle T4 T5 the manager performs the last beat. The subordinate is unable to complete the transfer and uses red eye out to insert a single wait state. In clock cycle T5 T6 the subordinate provides the read data for the third beat. In clock cycle T6 T7 the subordinate provides the read data for the last beat. Now the transfer size signal is used to give the size of the data from the table we can see. If how size equals 000, then it is a byte transfer. If how size equals 001, then it is a half word transfer and so on. So that's all about this video I hope you all like this video if you like this video please like this video. Share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.